Hey, oh, gamers, it's me and Ellie. We're playing more Persona 4 Golden because, yes. So, I, I leveled up quite a bit. I leveled up quite a bit. I am on now level 60. Let's go. Level 60, baby. So, like, the next castle, the next dungeon should be easy peasy. Okay, I gotta go to sleep. Alright, we just had finals and that was just skipped. And I got reset, so, like, social link started. But that's it. That's all that happened. Now we just wait and just do social links. We just do social links now. Because you ain't alone. Oh. I don't know. Let's go to Juness. Hang out with a Dachi. <gasps> <laughs> this fucker. Oh, god damn it. I want to attack to a Diachi. A Diachi. What the heck, is Diachi? Oh my god. Uh, can we hang out with the people? What day is it? Sunday? No one's available Sunday. Let's just go see if anyone can, like, hang out. Adachi, what the hell, man? I was gonna talk to you. Let's talk to Yukiko. Let's spend time with Yukiko. Spend time with Yukiko! Skip. Okay. Oh, just test results. Guess who got best in the class? Me. Testo results. <laughs> I got the high score. I'm a genius. I'm got number one. Cause I'm so good at this game. Oh, I need to buy shit. Yeah, that's cheating. Tell, tell your mom, tell your mom, tell your mom that she cheated by by conceiving you too early. Oh, but sitting behind senpai sounds great too. I want to squeeze in. Yeah, yeah. Let me remind you that it's against the law to have two people ride on a motorcycle. But I think it's a good idea for you guys to get your licenses. It only takes about a week. It's supposed to be for work, but there's a scooter at the end. We got one as a gift at the office that's just sitting around. I bet I could borrow it if I asked. But I'd have to call my manager. Huh. Is this actually working out? How about you, Chie? A scooter, huh? It can be any kind as long as it's lower than 50 cc. Then I might be in luck. One of our relatives loves motorcycles. Maybe he has a scooter I can borrow. Whoa, this might really happen! Let's all get our licenses and hit the beach to get. Hold up, what about Teddy? Hmm. If he doesn't move around, he could pass his luggage. What's so funny? Teddy? Unreal? I've made up my mind. 
mind. I'm gonna get my license. The beach, huh? I've gone before for pinup shoots, but it's been a while since I went for fun. Does this mean? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Catch the <that> question. <laughs> um, Kaji, the no question. Obviously, Kaji. <laughs> he, I wear speedo. Let it all hang out. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm first things first is I'm gonna buy weapons because I need weapons. Wait, not you, nice. Wait. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Falling apart. I weapon. I have the best one anyway. I have the best one. I have the best one. Oh, I don't have the best one. Yay! Yeah. Yes. Yes. I have a lot to sell. If I sell them all, like, that's... A million? No, wait, a hundred thousand. No, it's not even that much. Tell me why you did it. Oh, we're talking about Yukiko. Yukiko! Um, um, do you remember Kasai san, the waitress? She seems to have told everyone about you. Now they're saying I should, should bring you home. Oh, those are so quick to poke fun at me. It's such a hassle, isn't it? But of course, my family runs an inn, and so guests come by all the time. Maybe next time you can just come in. Oh, Yuki-chan. Oh, the deputy mayor. The people at the end seem very busy. Something going on. Huh? Oh, no. Today was the interview for the travel show. On TV? That's great. You'll try and make it look inviting, won't you? I'm sorry. I have to go. You're gonna be on TV again? Oh, gosh. She's gonna be a sc <laughs> Dang it. We don't need... We, we don't need the castle part, too. <laughs> no, I will. The request... We requested that no employees would be filmed or shown. It seemed like a serious travel show, so everyone's eager to help. But they need me to help clean, so I have to go now. Goodbye. There you are, Yuki-chan! Kasai-san, what's wrong? The TV crew made it, but don't go in the inn. 
It was a trick. Those those people were from the news of the weird show. And I think they're looking for you, so stay put. You got that? Okay, but... There you are. No reason hiding the future manager of the Cursed Inn. Cursed Inn? You know about the murder case? Yeah, my Yumi Yamano stayed at your place, right? You guys have been hurting with the drop in visitors, huh? So I came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle renovating the Inn Cursed Inn. How's that grab you? The customers will be pouring in, I tell ya. I don't understand what you... I want you to be the star. When you choose the hot springs, let us film a little bathing. Uh, the modest manager seems. Listen, you. Anyway, please leave. We are not interested in your coverage. You're refusing? Look, kid, you don't know the power of television, do you? Well, I can't blame you living in the countryside. We're trying to help you out here. I mean, do you want the patrons to dry up? You're going to be the next manager of trusting you to make the right decision here. I won't be the next manager. Really? Um, is that so? Well, you just say the word and I can cook with a better gig than running this dump of an inn. You should call yourself the former high school innkeeper. I really like the sound of that. Why don't you hear me out? How dare you say that to Yuki-chan? It's okay. Let him say what he wants. He'll go home once he gets it all out. What the shit? You say your inn has been going generation, but that means it's, it's crappy and run down. Generation's so last year. It would be better if you did close up shop. I think it's stuffy serves. Small portions, season service, nothing that stands out. You want customers. You can't just do the same old, same old. You guys don't get that. That's why you suck. Your rage just don't give any extra service unless you tip them, huh? Yeah, I know. Why don't you all make all the way just so young girls have an all day, all day menu? So spread the food time. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. The hell up. <laughs> don't say another word about our inn. Who would take your stupid ideas seriously? From now on, we refuse any coverage from your station. You bitch. If that's how you want to play, I'll pass you those words all over prime time. See how that feels. Go ahead, by all means. We'll respond with official complaint from our to your sponsors. This is a sound of good, sir. Ch this is some incredible things. Huh. <laughs> well, I should contact the NLC later. I got lost when he was insulting everyone. Was I scary? Yeah, you were. Not totally scary. I see. Were you disillusioned? I thought that. Not this long ago when I thought I'd be better off if it closed, but it was like it was my home. But that's where everyone in my world is. I can't let it close. We just starting to face our true feelings. Ooh, level eight. Oh god, I hit that face. <laughs> Welcome home, big bro! Oh, my throat. The Mondays are for what? A dachi. Have a dachi tutor me? <laughs> no, I don't want a dachi to torture me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dojima residence living room. You guys studying? Wait, no, I don't even want to look at yours. Too complicated looking. No, maybe I could help with Nanako chats. Really? You would have some homework, a book review. Oh, those. Those are really easy if you know what to do. You don't have to read the whole thing. Just read the notes in the back and then summarize those. I don't, but my teacher said read it and write what you think. Don't worry about that, we have to be efficient here. Is that how you do your job too? <laughs> of course, government's full of pointless red tape. Wait, you didn't hear that. Don't tell Dutchie Muscle, okay? I thought she's panicking. Come on, Nadiko, try and bring your book. It wasn't a review, I just have to read it and then I get a mark from a grown up saying I did. Well, that's easy enough. The remark? Dojima says, says it's gonna be late today. 
Will you give me one Adachi-san? I mean, okay, but if, if you're good, I'll draw you a big flower. I want one! <laughs> then let's get started. Once in a deep, deep forest near a small, small river lived a pink alligator. Oh, there's Jack Frost on it, but... Pink... Alligator. <laughs> Nanako was reading intently. So no one remember the pink... <laughs> no one remember the pink alligator. Even today, the lake is shining the way it always did the end. Oh, you're done? Did I get a big flower? Oh, sure, I'll give you one. Yay! A flower! What about you? Don't you have anything you want me to draw a flower on? Uh, nope, nothing. You know, fun. You're really related to Nanako-chan. Never mind. You look mature, but you're still in high school, you know? I'm not saying it should be me, but if something happens, you shouldn't have to bring it to a grown-up. Oh, that chi baby. <laughs> I'm tired. Mind if I take a little nap? The old lady brought me photos of potential matches. She keeps insisting I see girls because they're nice and I had to do everything because of it. Like, I'll never get married. You don't want to get married? Marriage is where fun goes to die. <laughs> you understand about 20 years, Uncle chan Come think of it, don't you will be father in law to whoever Nanako chan decides to marry? Shh. But certainly gonna put a damper on her chances. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> There's there just no way. Sorry, Nanako chan. No. I don't wanna get married either. I don't like people with holes in their socks. <laughs> ah, Nanako. Uh, I love you. I don't have holes in my socks. And you did the other day. I can talk to Ayane, which is simple enough. I don't really care about Ayane's because it just feels like. Oh, that was real quick. Okay, there was literally nothing. Okay. Who's Tuesday? Who can I hang with on Tuesday? Oh, um, shoot, I guess. Oh, the Midnight Channel. Okay. Watch the Midnight Channel. All oh, right, for the. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The Midnight Channel. Ooh! <laughs> Someone's in the TV! Someone appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. A boy standing with its back against the wall. You all think you can see me. You all think you know everything about me. <laughs> Try and catch me. Who's that? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> He need a plan, which is just go in. It says to. My bisexualness is where is kicking in.
GA. Checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now, about what happened last night. You guys all saw it, right? Yeah. The shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish like eyes pissed me off even more. Who the hell is he? <coughs> huh. Truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. So I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Mora. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this? I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. So? All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, People stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said... Catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai. Smarter than you look. <laughs> He's gonna piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. I wonder what that boy is going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed. It's the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Rise, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Good timing. How did it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is, in fact, the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we'll just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us.
Uh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> With promise, still aching, still aching. Oh, baby, I need to know. Thank you. 